He was looking the eggs. <laughs> Is there egg? No, he didn't want to look for any eggs this year. Okay. <laughs> he's going so, to be 12 next month. So oh, I guess good. he's determined he's too old to hunt Easter eggs. <laughs> that's good. All right, done. Class is running well and live stream. Thank you, Diana. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> we'll wait a few minutes and see if we get some more participants here. We are going to talk today about homophones or confusing words. Um, just as a little reminder of things we might see in our reading or writing. Okay. I thought our brain needed a little bit of a break from all of that verb tense work we did last week. <laughs> Teacher Benita, you prepared the, the lesson today. How to, that means how to pronounce uh, the bold words, you mean? Um, how to pronounce them and which one is appropriate to use. Oh, so, all right. Homophones are words that sound alike, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. Yeah. For so. example, number one, I can't believe this class is one hour long, right? The first yes. one. H-O-U-R, oh. hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. The sound seems yeah, the sound it's uh, exactly it's 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 equal. Yeah, that's but why it, these are that's why these words are confusing sometimes because they sound exactly the same when you say them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but the meaning, of course, the meaning exactly different, opposite sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, right. Time. Yes, sometimes confuse me. Yes, but it's the pen of the context of the sentence, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Can you all see this clear enough or do I need to make it a bit larger? Yes, we can see the screen. It's okay. 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 Hello, teacher Vinita. It's so good to see you. Hello, Tariq. How are you? Mm, I'm just fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good. Today gonna... class. Let's go ahead. Today class is homophones worksheet one. 
yes. return of nudges. Ninjas, ninjas. Ninjas, yes. What do you? What What does it mean, ninjas? Ninja is like a bad guy who's dressed oh. all in black, and um, they are just kind of a made-up character. All right, all right. I see. Mm, okay. All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. You are wearing um, a black black t shirt today. Yes, yes. Yeah, my daughter, my daughter also wearing a black t shirt today. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I used to always wear white t shirts, and then I decided that. If I wore a white T-shirt, my hair, my skin, and my shirt were all the same color. So <laughs> I decided it was time to move on to some colors. <laughs> I think all to share all to share to wear is fit for you. Thank you. Okay, what we're going to do here today is to choose the correct word. Homophones are words that sound the same but have a different spelling and a different meaning. So for an example, in question number one, sentence number one, I can't believe this class is one hour long. So the hour we're going to select is H-O-U-R, meaning a hmm. length of time. Hour, O-U-R, means something that belongs to us. All right. All right. So if there are vocabulary words that you are not familiar with, we will discuss them. And I'm just going to let you guys read these, <clears throat> read these sentences. And you will pick the right word for the sentence. All right. Uh, it's a reminder. If you want to participate, use the raise your hand button at the bottom of the screen. That way I know I can call on you. And we will get started. And we're going to start with sentence number two. Sentence number two. Anybody ready to take on number two? Okay, Minerva. Okay, number two. I know that was a long time, right? I replied. R I G H T. Oh, no. sorry, sorry. Time, time. I know that it's a long time. A T I M E. Yes, T I M E, a span of time. And are we familiar with T H Y M E? I don't know what that means, teacher Minita. Time. Team, okay. team, team? No, it's time. It's pronounced time. It time. is, a, it's an herb. It has little teeny tiny leaves on it that you um, put in your food to season. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, Tariq, next one, number three. Number three, John is my best friend and I will never meet a better friend than him. So the second one, meet, it's not met. So meet me, sorry, it's not met. Yeah. The second, okay. the second, the second word there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. M-E-A-T is also pronounced meet. Meat. Yeah. Okay. I I like I like fish meat. I like uh, chicken meat, but I don't like red meat. Ah, okay. Yeah. I like red meat pretty well. But it's not that good, teacher, for our bodies. You're right. I don't eat it a lot, but I do like it. Um, <laughs> and let's go on to number four. Uh, Minerva, not sorry, Diana. Yes, teacher, number four. Yeah. Our teacher was giving us a lesson on homophones. L E double S. O N lesson. Are we familiar with the meaning of the other lesson? L E S S E N. 
a lesson to make decrease yeah smaller yeah. Yes. yeah to decrease good job all right number five uh minerva okay number five it was still pretty early in the morning m o r n i n g yes Morning. That's correct. Is another one. Morning. What does it mean? Sadness. Ness? Sadness. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sadness. When something bad happens, <clears throat> or someone you know passes away, pass away, you are mourning the loss of that person. Oh, okay. It's mean like I said when you feel sad. Yeah. When you and. feel sad. Mm hmm. All right, let's look at number six, Tariq. <clears throat> All right, number six. Uh, that was when those ninjas jumped through the window, through the second one. Yes, T-H-R-O-U-G-H, going through something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and what does the other one mean? Other, other uh, ones means is like cast or cast down or power, something or been, even been sometimes. Um, through the, the past and of throw. Yes. No? Yes. No, oh. it's they're both through, through and through. So T H R E W, the easiest way I can um, give you a definition on that is to. He threw the ball. Yeah, but the past tense of throw, no? Past tense of past. Three, throw, throw. Yeah, I throw, throw, throw. Through is, is the past tense of throw. Yes. Yeah. Three, okay. Throw, um. All right. Could you so, teacher, it could be extrude, extrude also. It could be extrude also sometimes. When give, okay. when give, when give, when give something extrude, or when give some something like a little bit bigger size, could be also. Mm, no, not in this instance. Mm, okay. Hello, teacher. Hi, Miriam. How are you today? I am good, teacher. I am pretty good. Thanks. What about you? I'm good also. Okay, glad to hear that. May I know what's our today's lesson about? Yes, ma'am. We are talking about homophones, words that sound alike, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. Okay, teacher. So we're reading the sentences and selecting the correct word. All right, let's look at number seven. Minerva, will you do number seven? Okay, number seven. I was worried because ninjas are master of the martial art. Oops, martials. M I R the second one, Charles. Marshall, yes, M A R T I A L, Marshall, um, which is fighting and doing all this stuff with your hands and feet. Okay, mm -hmm. and are we familiar with the other Marshall? I don't know. The other spelling leader, of Marshall, leader or yeah, yeah. A like leader, a official, a senior official, maybe. Okay. Yeah, someone, who, someone who has like a higher position in government. Yes. Yeah, even in even in army. Yeah, usually army, mm. uh, one of the branches of army and police yeah, departments yeah. and sheriff departments mm. usually mm. have marshals. Such as lieutenant or a captain or major, but a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Good job. Um, let's see. What do we have on number eight? 
Tariq. All right, number eight, I could feel their cold on me. They called stars, Stair. stairs. They called, they're called stairs on me. Yeah. I don't, I don't exactly. The second uh, one. Yes, I, I, I'm thinking about the second one rather than the first one. Because it, doesn't, yeah, because, because it doesn't make sense if we choose a stair. Right? Yeah. 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 The second one. I, I, S -E -A -R -E -S I go with the second one. E S is when someone looks right at you and they don't blink or they don't look away for a period of time. Yeah. Can we say glimpse? Glimpse? Glimpse. Yeah. Um, a glimpse is a fast look. A stare is a maintained look. Mm. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. All right. Let's look at number nine. Diana. Yeah, teacher. Hold on one second. Number nine. Uh huh. John. 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 They are here too. Our teacher answered keys. The, John. They are here to steal. The first one. Our teachers answer keys. I said. Okay. Steal, S-T-E-A-L. Take it. It's not yours, but you're going to take it. Are we familiar with the other steal, S-T-E-E-L? Yeah. Kind of, kind of iron. Yeah. All right. Iron. Miriam, number 10. Okay, teacher. Uh, John didn't seem that worried. I guess it's the first one. No, 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 it's the second one. Second one? Second one, true. Second one, okay. Yes, that is correct. Seem, S-E-E-M. He didn't look that worried. He didn't. You know, I guess it means that he is not uh, look like that he is worried or something like this. Yes, yes, he doesn't look worried. All right, what about the other seam, S-E-A-M? Are we familiar with that? I am not sure, I don't know. Stretch or? So when we put a piece of clothing together or a puzzle yeah. together, the edges match. Yeah. All um, right. So, like if you have on a pair of pants and the seam goes down the outside of the leg or the inside of the leg, that's a seam. Okay. That's a seam where two things are matched. Say again, teacher. Sorry. That's okay. Um, if you're wearing a pair of pants or a skirt, whatever you're wearing, anything you're wearing, I should say, is the two of the edges of the fabric are sewn together. So when you fold them out, it looks like just one piece of fabric instead of two. So a seam is where two things are connected together. Oh. And so the other way to explain that would be like a puzzle, mm -hmm. piece of the puzzle, the seams fit together. Okay. But when can we say also like a layer? No. Um, layer it probably wouldn't. It probably wouldn't um translate to the person you're talking to if you're talking about layers because layers are actually things that lay on top of each other. A seam is where two things are actually connected. Oh, okay. Yeah, more than connected each other, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right. Let's look at number 11. May I, teacher? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. I exclaimed, we cannot uh, let that happen, John. I guess it's the second one because, um, yeah, this is the second one. It is the second one. We are not going to let that happen. 
All right, are we familiar with not K-N-O-T? Yeah, the speed of facial. The speed of, of speed. Yeah. Also, K-N-O-T is when you tie. Um, yeah, oh, tie up something. Oh, oh, tie yeah, up yeah. a rope to hold something in place. That's also um, a knot. So we have yeah. like, we have three meanings there. Yeah. All righty. But most of the time I heard uh, not, which is the speed of, you know, uh, a sheep or mm -hmm. special. <laughs> yes, that's absolutely correct. All right, let's look at number 12. Picasso, would you like to read number 12? Yes, teacher. Uh, 12, John said, I just don't see why we should put yourself in danger for more homework. Okay, which one of those are we using? I believe the second one, uh, the answer is the second one. Yes, second one, S-E-E, -E, to look at something. Okay, what about the other one, S-E-A? Are we familiar with that one? I mean, I'm sure we are, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll my page up here a little bit. Okay, let's look at number 13. Oscar, read number 13. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. But I'm a little bit late, I think, right? Yes. Uh, 12. Is it 13 or 12? 13. Uh, I stood up and said, because it's all right. Right thing to do, John. First one. Yes. Right. It's the right thing, the correct thing to do. Okay. And I know we're all familiar with W-R-I-T-E. So we are going to go on to number 14. Sidad, would you like to read number 14? Yeah, <laughs> Be patient, dear <laughs> Mariam. Okay. Sidad <laughs> logged in, so go ahead, Mariam. Sidad's not okay. fully. Okay. So, some of these ninjas were twice my size, so I had to be smart. I guess it's the second one because that because the second one is uh, you know like this that they were twice of me or maybe my size, and I guess the second one makes sense a lot. Yes, S I Z E size is a unit of measure. So, um. I am 50, 60, sorry, 60 inches tall. And the ninja was 120 inches tall. Okay. What about exactly S-I-G-H-S? Are we familiar with that one? Yeah. Okay. Could Everybody we see, could we seen or something related? Um, no, to sigh is to uh, expel a deep breath. Vision? Oh. You mean, does it mean vision? No. Nope. Mm. I think you're thinking of the word sight, S I G H T. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This one is sigh, S I G H, more than one sigh. So. <laughs> When you're frustrated by something or when you're trying to explain something uh, to someone, they don't get it, and you might go, uh, it's kind of an exasperative breath of some sort. Expression. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank All you. right. Tariq, number 15. All righty, number 15, I grabbed the answer key on 12. 
the principal or principal office. The first one, principal's office. Principal's yeah. office, yes. That is a title of the person who is in charge of a school. Yeah, Moscow. manager. Manager of the school building. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what about the other principal? P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E. The other words, the other words it's uh, uh, something which is related to found, fundamental truth or fundamental belief or yes. uh, something yes. like that. Yeah. It's our belief or opinion of something. Good job. All right, next one, number 16. Nuria, read number 16. Okay, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Hi. Number 16. Uh, the ninjas were chasing me, so I dropped a banana peel, peel on the ground. Uh, I think, teacher, the second one. Dropped a banana peel on the ground. Okay, banana. Yeah. Banana. banana. Peel. Yes, peel. The covering of a fruit or vegetable. Peel. Okay, what about the other peel? P E A L. Peel. No? Could be no. could be ringing or something like that. Yes, ringing. So the bell peals at noon. The bell rings at noon. Okay, yeah. it's a sound or a call, something like that. All right, let's look at number seventeen. Um, Sakshi. Sakshi, you want to read number 17? Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> I don't know the answer, but definitely I would love to read. Uh, number 17? Yes. Okay. One of the ninjas slipped and fell into the garbage. Shoot and shoot face first. Okay. And... Uh, Garbage shoot. I'm so sorry. I don't know the answer. Okay. Second one, I think so. Nope. It would be the first one. Shoot. Oh. C H U T E is a passageway. Um, okay. So uh, if the garbage goes down the chute, some places in the United States have what they call. Um, an apartment, big apartment buildings, they have a garbage chute. So instead of taking your garbage out, like I do, to my trash can and then put it on the curb on such and such day, these people would just take their, their um, bag of trash and just put it down this chute, a hole. There's an opening in a door okay. or a, something like okay. that. Thank could you. be also a teacher, it could be also sloping something down or sloping, sloping something down, or uh, something that with the deep slope. Mm, I don't think that, no, I don't think that would be appropriate. All right. And S-H-O-O-T is shoot, um, dislodge a bullet from a gun or an yeah. arrow. On the bow, those kinds of things. Because sometimes, sometimes even we call that the channel is shoot channel, meaning that the channel is a sloping channel. Hmm. Okay. I've never heard yeah. that one. <laughs> okay, teacher. Could I read it? Uh, could I read number eighteen? Yes. Okay. Number eighteen. I said. What a waste, waste, as I heard him fall into the dumpster with the crash. Dumpster, yeah. Uh, second one, waste. 
Yes. Waste. Okay. Another word we can use for garbage or trash. Yeah. Waste. Okay. And the other waste, W I W A I S T, around your yeah. middle. It's a part it's, of yeah. body. Right. Yeah, it's a part of body. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. May I teach you the 19? Yes, go ahead. Okay, I said, what a waste. As I hear him, as I heard him fall into the uh, dumpster with a crash. Uh, I'm sure, teacher, that this one is the second one because, you know, like, is that what, 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 what strange things happen or maybe whatever bad things happen and something like this when he just go into the dumpster with, uh, you know, with crash. And uh, maybe I told what a waste. So it, this one is the second one. Yes, you're correct. All right, let's look at number nine, our number, yeah, number 19, Nuria. Yeah, teacher, the number 19. The ninjas were still chasing me, so I lead them down there. The first one, teacher. Okay, both of these are pronounced lead. Lead, L-E-A-D, is a type of metal. L-E-D is to have someone follow you somewhere. So it is the same, lead. Lead. Uh, someone follow, teacher? Yes, someone following you. Guidance seems like guidance, right? Guiding someone. Yes. So I don't know if you all are familiar. There used to be when I was a kid, an old little, just an old saying, um, the lemmings followed someone to jump into the sea. So it talked about all of the people that were following this big leader. And no matter what he did, they followed. They, he led them. It could have been a, a good thing or a bad thing. All right, number okay. 20, sorry, number 20. Picasso, read number 20 for us, please. Okay, teacher. I grabbed a handful of tax or tax from a billet board and doesn't then on the floor. Oh, teacher, I'm sorry, I... I I don't know the answer. Explain it for right. me, please. May I? May I? Um, yes, go ahead. I grabbed a handful of tacks, the first one, from a bulletin board and tossed them on the floor. Okay. Yeah. Picasso, are you familiar with a bulletin board? Bulletin board, yeah. Okay. All right, do you know what that is, a bulletin board? No, no, I don't know the, okay. the word. Okay, a bulletin board is uh, sometimes in a place of business or a restaurant, you might go in and there's a big board. Even in schools, even in schools, teacher, in schools. <clears throat> schools. They might put their uh, business card or looking for a person to do this job, that job, something like that, or a party is taking place on this day you're invited that kind of thing so a bulletin board is where you can post information all right and tax tax is the fee that we have to pay for something we've purchased or money we've made in our job yeah okay, okay. all right all right you Let's. can you can live without tax. Always you should pay. <laughs> yeah. If you don't pay your taxes, you might end up in jail. That yeah. would be <laughs> in my country, you if you don't pay tax, uh, then you have to pay double. And then oh. and double is a lot of money in one to two years. Here. Here in the area that I am right now, if you don't pay tax 
or something because you have to pay a fine or penalty, okay, for not doing the task as well. So you have to pay extra money, okay, yes. for because you 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 didn't pay that the the tax on the time. Yes, we're taxed on everything. We're taxed on the work that we do. We are taxed on the groceries we buy. We are taxed on the gasoline we purchase. Everything is taxed. Teacher, even is here. Me Sorry, because teacher. we've already paid in this giant lump sum of taxes. It should cover everything already. But so, nobody asked me. <laughs> yeah, so teacher, teacher, I would like to say that even here in the area, uh, when I when I have a, a meal on the restaurant, so after I I finished my meal, so the the bill will be will be included all the prices of the meal, of the foods, and then the tax will be there inside the pill, right? Yeah. For for instance, yes. if the pill costs uh, uh, ten dollars. Okay, the tax the sorry the tax of that bill will be. Uh, like one dollar extra or one point something extra, all right? Yes. So even That's even if you, yeah, on the restaurants we do have such kind of Did extra. Yes. Yes. But one, one thing, thing, something? Something? One thing. Can I say one thing about the tax in my country? And some of the tax money has been you know has been corrupted by by let's say by a fisher or yeah corrupter yeah that's unfortunate but that takes place here too <clears throat> okay Mary something from Mr. Tariq yes Mr. Tariq what's the meaning of Egistra worth Egistra so, mean additional could... yeah Egistra mean additional additional yeah when you when I said I have to pay Egistra many that means I have to pay additional. Do you mean extra? Oh. Yeah, yes. extra. Yes. Oh, okay. I just thought about what does it mean. Yes. How so if you go to the grocery yeah. store um, and you buy something for $5 and you have X percent of tax in your area, mm -hmm. then it would be, say, $5.73 or something like that. That's extra. That is tax on top of what the cost of the item is. Yeah. Okay, teacher. I got it. Thanks. Okay. All right. Oscar. I that. want to tell you something before this, we just back to the business. Now my mom came to here and you're laughing. She just told what a beautiful laugh she has. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. just following your speech. Thank you. Okay. Oscar. Yes, Reading 21, number. right? 21, yes. Okay. Then I hear the supplies color sets as ninjas ran past. Uh, first one, past. Past, yes. Past. Yeah. past. Say so went around. Somebody went around something. Um, or went faster. If you were in a race driving your cars and or a bicycle or whatever. If a person goes further than you, they have passed you. Okay. Oh, and overtake, overtake you, teacher. Can you also oh, use yeah. overtake? Yes. Where is the verb? Yeah. Overtake would be the same me. All right. I know we're all familiar with past P A S T, correct? Something that has already. Happened. All right. Yeah. Let's down at number 22 three May teacher 22 okay go ahead Miriam. go ahead as long as you are more enthusiastic <laughs> okay no problem <laughs> no problem okay no no do it do it do it do it go i'm ahead, fine Miriam. hi teacher yeah Okay, I know. Uh, I know when they ran over my trap because several ninjas start howling. Uh, I think it's the thick, the first one. I know, mm -hmm. and um, that's it. I, I guess it's the first one. It is the first one. It is pronounced new. New. 
new. Yes, it's true. I know. You already have in your brain. Okay. Okay. And the other new is I love new shoes. Brand new. Me I just too. Me too. <laughs> Me too, teacher. Right. When I come to visit you, Diana, we will go shoe shopping. Yes, yes. I, I accompany you. I accompany you. <laughs> All right. Teacher Benita, you look you look a new black t shirt. Yes, I have on a new black t shirt. One one good sentence. Teacher Benita has got new car. Oh cool. All right. Let's see. Where be. are we here? 23. It must be, it must be a Mercedes Benz car for teacher Benita. Oh, it's a, no. no, it's a, it's a range, range over. It not. <laughs> it's a range over, range over, teacher, range over. I'm going to get you range over. New oh, nice. Range. I love those. <laughs> right. Good. Good deal. All right, let's move on down to number 23. 23. Who would like to read that one? Diana, mm -hmm. you haven't had one for a while. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number 23, those ninjas must have been an, sorry, those ninjas must have been in a lot of pain because they left the school after that. Pain, the first one. P-A-I-N, pain, something hurts. Are yeah. we familiar with P-A-N-E? Yeah. Okay. P, P, uh, sorry, P A N E, it's a single sheet or uh, something, okay, uh, out of all things, something like that, yeah. It's a part, it's a part of something or whole things. Um, pain most, of time, most of the time when we think about pain, P A N E, it's a pane of glass in the window. Yeah. Okay. Single layer, could be a single layer, teacher. Yeah. Could be a single layer or could be uh, like part of all things. Yeah. Yeah. Like pain, like pain, like pain of the window uh, behind you? Yes. Teacher? Yes. Okay. Got it. Um, back in the olden days, I think they called them window panes. A window pane was broken by the baseball. So oh. that way we know exactly what kind of pain we were talking about. I, I still don't understand that, teacher. Would you please uh, repeat again? Because I didn't get it. Okay. P-A-N-E. A pane, yes. a pane of glass. There's a pane of glass in my door. There's a pane of glass in the window frame. Um, a mirror is a pane of glass with silver coating on the back. Is that piece of a glass the same as pane? Glass? Yeah. Yes. Glass. Okay. Got, it. Got it. Hey. All right, let's read number 24. Um, Nuria, read 24. Okay, teacher, 24. I returned to class with the answer keys and everyone rose, rose and cheered for me. I returned to the class with the answer keys and everyone, I think that the second one teacher, I don't know the meaning, but I think the second one. The first okay. one is flower. <laughs> okay, first yeah. one is flower. It also has another meaning. Yes, when you stand in the, the line, last, the a lot of people are in the line. Okay. Um, rose is a flower. Rose is also to stand. Rows, R-O-W-S, is um, if you go to a movie theater and each of the chairs are lined up in rows. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so I are... guess the first one. Because it, maybe it's when the when first I just... one here? Yes, it is the first one. Because they well, they stood up and cheered for you when you came in with the test answers. It, it also could be used in a significant way. For instance, I can say that the matrix has four rows, four columns. The matrix, the matrix has four columns, four rows. Yes, but it would be the second one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure we were clear with that. All right. Any yeah. other questions on rows or rows? Nope. All right. Let's look down here at the last one, number 25. Shakshi, will you read 25? Except for John, he was too, too, and too mad at me to celebrate. I think teacher second one, T002. Yes. Too mad. He was too mad. He was also mad. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The other two is a place. And TWO yeah. is the number. Yeah. Okay. Let's look down here. Says you have to come up with two sentences for each pair, each of the word pairs. So there and there. Who would like to give me a sentence with those two words? Two sentences with those two words. May I teach you? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Okay. There are a lot of flowers in our garden. That was the second one. Okay. There, T-H-E-R-E, -E, are a lot of flowers in our garden. What about the other one? There, T-H-E-I-R. I don't have an information about this one, teacher. Okay. Who knows how what T-H-E-I-R is? Can I? Yes, Oscar, go ahead. Okay, so... Uh, there are many students in the class today with their teachers. Okay. You used yeah. both of them in one sentence. Good idea. There, yeah. there, T H E I R is someone's. Uh, here's an example The black cat is theirs. T H E I R. Yes, because it belongs to someone else. All right, so something belonging to someone else is there, T-H-E-I-R. All right, how about then? So there and, a, yes? I would like to ask, I think uh, from both these words, I think there is a little bit different to pronounce that word. Am I right? No? They pronounce the like, same ways, no doubt. No, they pronounce the same ways. There. There, there, or same. There, 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 there. They pronounce the same way, as I think. I think oh. that's right. They're pretty, yeah. they're, they're pretty close. Okay. Not even close. I think they really have the same sound. I, Trust me. I, <laughs> I think what you're thinking of, Diana, is there, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, there, because it's pronounced a little differently. Yeah, yeah. They are like a possessive. Yes, yes. All right, then and then. Who wants to give me some sentences? I would okay. like to say something. Go ahead, Tariq. All right. But it could be it could be real, right? Okay. So today, my enthusiasm is more than uh, her enthusiasm yesterday. Then she likes to solve question as much as she can. Then she likes to, okay. Yep. It's in previous because <laughs> Charik, Charik, you know, made long sentence. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> long sentence, good. Okay, I'm gonna try also my turn. All right. Um, my frame uh, 
he's speaking English better than me, but oh, Adam, he's still kind to me. Say that again. Okay, my friends speak English better than me. Okay. And then he still be kind to me. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, here's my sentence for then and then. I would rather eat burgers first, then go to the movie, then go to the movie, then eat burgers. That makes sense? Pretty short. Yeah, pretty short and good one. Okay. All right. Which and which? May I teach her? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I am. I am laughing about this sentence. Okay. Which which is coming to see that in Halloween? Ah, yes. Which which is coming? All right. Very yeah. good. So, can I can I give can I make my? Yep. Uh, okay. Uh. So. Oh, I'm confused. So which one is uh, the best student in your class? And uh, there's a lady, she's a witch. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> okay. All right. Anybody else want to give this one a try? May I, teacher? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, which which in the first the first one, which one makes sense? I guess it's a very good, <laughs> it's a very good sentence. And okay. the second one, she is so kind. With all of these, she's a witch. But by the way, she's so kind. Okay. I don't know. You get my point or not? Yes. Which W-I-T-H is a person. Sometimes in the United States, we say that lady is a witch because she's so mean, so um, offensive, mm -hmm. so rude. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's, yeah, not, it's, it's not something which is related to magic or no. Yeah, yeah, have, yeah I guess it guess. doesn't have to be. So, um, teacher, I think uh, the second one, which I think is a female dog, right? So the second one is no. a female dog. No. Not that. <laughs> Oh, I'm that, sorry, Dan. That's okay. A female dog is a, pardon my French, a bitch, B-I-T-C-H. Okay. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Right. And a witch is a person who, a lady who does magic or a lady who is rude or. Um, Act out, right? Yes. Yeah. Not a may, kind I, may, may I come with the sentence, teacher? Yes, you may. But it could be funny. Okay. <laughs> All right. Actually, I have been subjected to many troubles in the future. And I was uh, really confused to how to get rid of this situation. Uh, then I decided to go to which to find a solution for me. <laughs> ah, okay. Did it work? <laughs> I don't believe in that. I don't Mr. believe Mr. Tarek, do you believe in which? Do you believe no. in which? No. Yeah, no, because it's, it's not halal and Islam is also haram, uh, I guess. Yeah, as long as as long as we have to come up with the sentence. So I find I found <laughs> that sentence could be wrong. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Miss <laughs> right. Tarek, that that was fantastic, Mr. Tori. Yes. <laughs> All right. I want to go back up here and make sure we're clear on some of these um, ones that we had some questions about. So C-H-U-T-E, shoot. Can someone give me a sentence with that word, shoot? So I think that you have explained about a uh, suit, right? Can uh -huh. I can I try? Yes, Diana. Uh, go teacher, ahead. Uh, is is it the same thing? Uh, shoot and parachute. 
Yes, not me today. Say that again. Uh, it's the same things. If I can say should and parachute. Parachute, which is like army, you know, uh, uh, army uh, is uh, uh. from from the sky, and then they 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 are using they are using parachute. No? Yes. Yes, um, some people will call a parachute a shoot. The shoot didn't open, so it would be yeah. the same as. And they fell down to the ground. Yes, that would not be a good thing. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right. And what about S H O O T? Would someone make a sentence with that? No. The police. Can I say? Yeah. The police. The police officer shoot the shoot the thief in the on the street. Okay. A simple sentence. Okay. I will shoot the bottle during target practice. Yeah. Diana, we will miss you. And thank you for posting our live stream video. All right, we've got about four, three and a half, four minutes. Are there any questions, comments, concerns, complaints? Yeah, teacher, I, I want, uh, One at a time. I have one question. Okay. Okay. Oscar. Tarek. Okay, so uh, like steel and digital, sir. So. Still, I think the first one is a verb, right? For example, somebody stole something from you. The second one, I'm still a bit confused on that one. Could you please explain that to me? Yes. Steal, S-T-E-E-L, is a noun. It is a piece of metal. Okay. So the building was made from steel and concrete. Yeah. Is it kind Home of was... iron teacher? Well done. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. a kind of metal, iron, iron like metal. Does that help, Oscar? For sure. Uh, teacher, I have a question for yeah. you. Okay. Thanks, Oscar. Okay, Miriam, what's your question? Mm, teacher. Uh, uh, however, I'm just confused about this. I'm not confused with um, is this a question in my mind. When we just finished this, you know, this course of learning English in your academy, are we going to have some documents or something like this from this academy? For these, for this activity? Mm, yes, teacher. Yeah, I can share these with you if you want them. Okay, I have teacher. I have two others that we will go over um, in the next classes. So I'm just going to put one on there today, the one that we worked on today. And then we'll do another on Wednesday and one on Friday. Is that all right with everybody? Okay, sure. For me. Okay. Any other questions about this activity? What about teacher lesson? The first one, lesson. The first one, not the second one, the nouns. But the first one, what is that? Say that again. Uh, lesson. So the first one, I didn't get it. So the first one, like lesson. We're going to do another lesson on the same thing, but it'll be a different topic. It won't be about ninjas. Yeah, but okay. before, we, before we wrap up, teacher, I would like you to explain me that one. Four, our brothers was giving us a lesson on homes funds. So oh, oh, oh. the first one I don't get. Our teacher was giving us a lesson. Okay, gotcha. Lesson, L-E-S-S-E-N -S -S -E means to shrink something or condense something or um, let's say there was water in the well after I drew my bucket of water from the well, the water was lessened, lessened. So take something away, 
make it smaller, condense it. Does that help? Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, and we know the other lesson, something that you learn, some, a way, a, a lesson is topic. presented for something to like, learn. Like topic or team. Yeah, I would like to give example on the lesson. Okay, so uh, we have we have built uh, our infrastructures uh, in very good way in order to lessen the potential damage during earthquakes. Very good. Yes, absolutely correct. Okay, any other questions? I'd like to say, teacher, just. Thanks a lot for all of your work, talk, uh, you know, work harding. And also, so, you know, I just want to appreciate from your methods and from your teaching, the way that you teach us. You know, you just, uh, instead of teaching, motivate us. And I'm just interested about your classes. And, you know, it's a very good time for me, always in the classes. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy them. So, so let me uh, so just... go ahead, Tariq. Okay. So, uh, all right, teacher. So, please allow me to say to our dear friend Marian. So, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm so sorry if my example that I give uh, influence you. So, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> no, yeah. no, actually, it was a fact because this I told that. In teacher Benito's <laughs> class, I'm so exciting and I'm so it's a very interesting time for me because I'm so, you know, she just ignore, uh, she just you know, kind of uh, she's so kind with us and I'd like to say I'll answer all the questions or maybe tell all of the uh, the answers in her class and I love this. So I wasn't I wasn't wrong at all. <laughs> no, Miriam is very enthusiastic. Yeah. Right. And that's nice. That's wonderful. She All right. Is that. I am going we, to wrap we, it up. We, I'm going to interrupt you. We had to have a wonderful time. Real good time, as always. Thank you, Teacher Benita. It's a blessing to family. We all appreciate that. I don't have too much to say. Always, all, way, all the excellent that you are giving. Thanks a lot. And I'm coming up. Have a nice day. Right.